What would you recommend to a younger singer that's starting out now? What are some of the best things that you've done for yourself in your career? Uh, let's see here. I would say don't sing repertoire that's inappropriate for your voice. Or age, sure, but really don't, you know, it's so tempting. I am as much a culprit as anyone. I know Liz... Liz Howard had to <laughs> definitely hold the reins because I just wanted to sing everything. And if I liked it, I just wanted to sing it. But you have to be patient. You have to be patient with yourself and with the process and with the development of your voice. I'm still at that point. There's so much repertoire that I want to sing right now, but it's just not appropriate vocally. And I could potentially do myself harm if I you know, pushed myself too hard you know, and sing it over and over and over in a practice room or something like that. And so really just uh, sing what you love, but be patient with your voice. You know, voice takes a long time to develop, especially, you know, the lower the voice, the, you know, the, late, the longer it takes to, to develop fully. And, and just uh, enjoy, enjoy the process, too. The, you have to be able to enjoy the process because, like I said, you know, mo most of our experience in, in a career is not on the stage. It's in the rehearsal room. It's in the practice room. It's, it's working on things. And so you have to be able to enjoy that. Because otherwise you're going you're gonna to drive yourself nuts. You know, just always wanting to be on the stage performing. It's, it's not going to happen as much. Especially for a young singer. Especially for a young singer. And so, I mean, I think that's it. Uh, I mean, you, you got to follow your gut and your instinct and, and, uh, and ju just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the process. You don't have a young voice forever. <laughs> yeah. Well, looking back, is there anything that you would actually change about your past, about your decisions? I don't, I don't know. I actually am pretty happy with, with the, the things that I've had control over, which is not that much in this business. You really don't have control over a whole lot. There are definitely some auditions I would have done differently or not done since I was sick. <laughs> That's another thing. Half of being a singer, I think, or at least a big part of it, is knowing when not to sing, is knowing when to say no, uh, which is really hard for a young singer because we just want every opportunity we can get. Um, anyway, uh, there's definitely some things I, uh, some times in my life when I remember being very highly congested with work that I should have said no to and, and uh, sort of lightened my load because you know, being at Juilliard is the most wonderful experience I've had, but it's definitely not for the faint of heart. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like being here kind of today, like being here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, and so uh, it, it definitely is, is a lot of responsibility, and it was a challenge, and I'm so glad I did it. You know, it was, it was the best thing I could have done for myself because I, it's really prepared me for anything. But uh, what I did have, what I do have control over, I, I have to... I've, I've been learning when to say no and, you know, maybe examine how much work I have ahead of me and maybe I need to, to lighten it up a little bit. And so uh, there's definitely some moments in my life I can re remember. Of course, I haven't, you know, I'm not really, like, I don't have a huge career behind me, but, uh, you know, from what I have experienced, um, I've learned some lessons. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a singer who's so focused on the process, which is so fantastic, mm -hmm. do you find yourself... Um, having any problems going on stage? Do you, is there anything that you're afraid of? Um, it, I mean, definitely there, there are times when, uh, you know, I'm a little nervous. But I found that when, when I'm nervous, it's because for some reason I feel that I'm not fully prepared. Um, everyone has stage fright issues, even if it's... And some people don't, but uh, I haven't met a ton of those people. They do exist. <laughs> I'd like to know what they do, but um, you know, I it it I I've, I've definitely felt some nervousness, but um, usually if I feel that I've done everything I can to prepare myself, and I'm fully clear on my perspective and and you know my interpretation and the work I've done, then it's it's just time to to let go and to turn off all the you know things you have to worry about. Oh, this high note's coming up. Oh. What if, you know, what if I don't do this run well? What, you know, what if I forget this word? You just have to let it go, you know, because our art is an art that is constricted by time. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can't just create it and then look, I mean, recordings exist, but it's not like a painting where you can, you know, it, it's created and then it's, it's its own thing and you can see it, you can duplicate it physically. It's, a, it's an art that 
that passes, you know, and, and like, a, you know, recordings do exist, but, uh, but I think sort of the magic happens when it, when it just happens and you're just sitting in the audience and you experience it and it's past and everything. So eventually you just have to let go and just go on stage and tell the story. So. <laughs> and you have some incredible things coming up. Can you talk about some of the things that you can mention? I know oh, that some yeah, of them are sure, still under wraps. Sure, yeah. Um, well, I'm really excited to start my artist diploma at Juilliard. That'll be a two-year program and, and uh, we don't know the full casting for that yet. Uh, I have to go in a couple days uh, to back to school to uh, audition for all of them, <laughs> and uh, and exciting. then I'll um, and then in June I'll be performing with the New York Philharmonic in their production of the Cunning Little Vixen. That's incredible. So, and, and there are a couple other things coming up: some recital work and some covering work, and uh, and I don't know what next summer will hold besides Vixen. I'm hoping to return to Germany to work on language. Because I, I need to I need to get my German a little bit stronger. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely, my pleasure. We're so excited about everything that you have coming up. Well, thank and you. We can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.